Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another cut control video. This time I'm going to be talking about something that I mentioned in our last video, going a little bit more in depth with it, and that is loading programs into cut control using Google Drive rather than a thumb drive or a floppy disk or something like that. And so Google Drive really is a great tool to be able to, no matter where you are in the world, uh, upload and alter and collaborate with someone and then load that program wherever you're at. So let's say you're in Dallas and you're working on this great project and you have a business partner or a buddy in New York and you guys can work on the same program, you can work on the same project in real time and have it update and save in real time and then either one of you can download it and run it. Or if you have some pen pal in Australia, you know, same thing. No matter where you are in the world, you can both collaborate and work on a project. And this is a pretty simple process. All you really have to do is just kind of go on to Google's website. Uh, I'm Drive Download, and this download Google Drive on your computer. Now you can you can use Google Drive just online. You don't have to download it onto your computer normally, but for our purposes, we need to download it onto our onto our hard drive. And this is really really trustworthy software. This comes from Google. It's not annoying. It's not going to come up with pop-ups all the time. This is just super easy, super simple. And so I just download the drive, install it onto my computer, and then I'm good to go. So after that, I can tab open, and this is my Google Drive that I have set up. And so this has all of my folders in it, and this is just an example that I have here. So it's pretty empty. Just a little MR1 programs file over here. But this has this is where all your programs would be. You could have multiple folders to help organize and keep everything simple. And what I've done here is I just have MR1 programs. And I have a couple of them saved in here. I mean, super easy. I can just come into my post folder that I have set up and I can just click and drag and it will copy it onto there. And there it is uploaded to the internet, to the cloud. You can see I just using a tiny fraction of my storage and this way I can then work on it no matter where I'm at. And these are all private files. These are all closed off. And so no one else can access them or see them unless I choose to. So, you know, if I'm collaborating with my business partner in Sydney, I can say, you know what, uh, here is, here's this file that I have saved to you. You can take a look at it. If they want to alter it, then I can say, yeah, you can have access to it. And so then we can both work on it and we can collaborate. And then whatever changes get made, get automatically saved. And so this is where we save everything, and then we want to pull it up. And we open up our cut control, and over here in our load programs, we have this little option over here. And so in our option, normally what would come up is our normal hard drive. But if we look down here, we have a new option that comes up since we've downloaded and installed Google Drive. We have a new Google Drive folder. And all we have to do to access our files is come over here to My Drive. This is my folder that I just made. And here is the program that I just loaded in. So then there you go. And I can also access other programs that I've in there as well. And then we can start it, run it up, just like it was any other program. Because that's really all it is. It's just a nice way to access programs and keep things organized. And so that's it for this video, just kind of a nice short one showing you guys how we do things here at Langmuir and kind of make suggestions if you want to improve your hobby or your own small business. And it's just a nice way to collaborate. So if you guys like this kind of video, please leave a like down below. And if you have any comments or suggestions for future videos, feel free to comment down below as well. We really enjoy seeing those comments from you guys and being able to talk with you or reach out. And you know, it always makes my day, so I like it. Uh, so I'll see you guys in the next video.